Since before the early days of the pharaohs, the sky has been worshipped and looked towards for signs of impending doom or glorious rewards. Heaven is described as being above us in the King James Version of the Bible. And God made the firmament, and God called the firmament heaven. Right now may be one of the most interesting times in history for the big, once very blue expanse of space above our head. Many quantum effect observers have noticed changes to the Earth's sky, from new horoscope signs being asserted by NASA to multiple suns in the sky, the stars moving, cities appearing in the clouds, endless chemtrails, and no moon in the sky. There are obvious changes happening in our world today. This video is going to take you lightly through a few of the odd occurrences that are happening in your skies today. A new horoscope sign. In September of 2016, the Huffington Post quotes NASA as saying, Here at NASA, we study astronomy, not astrology. We didn't change any zodiac signs, we just did the math. But a new zodiac sign was put into place. Called Ophiuchus, NASA sneakily added a 13th zodiac sign a while back like it was no big thing. According to NASA, ancient astrologers decided to ditch the particular constellation in order for the 12 other signs to divide equally around the sun. This is why you shouldn't get a tattoo of your star sign. A new place in the universe. As Carl Sagan says in Cosmos, the TV miniseries from the 1980s, we reside in the backwaters of the Sagittarius arm. Most of us have grown up being told this, only it's not true. Not now anyway. Earth as we know it today is actually said to be on the Orion arm. In 2016, Kids Learning To released the following teaching video called Milky Way Galaxy, Milky Way for Kids, where they were specifically taught that we were on the Orion arm. Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here. Astronomers think that Orion spurs where your system appears. Your system's guessed to be 25,000 light years from the galactic center of the Milky Way. Here. It may sound like our educational system may have updated their theories on where we're situated in the galaxy, but it hasn't. As it stands today in older textbooks on any old maps of the galaxy, they have never taught us that we resided in the Sagittarius arm. Welcome to the quantum shift. It's never happened here in this reality as everybody knows it today. Although here and there you can find forgotten residue in obscure places where changing it has been missed. The sky is moving. Many people are claiming that the position of the stars in the night sky are slightly different to them. Although most people who aren't experiencing this themselves laugh this off, Inuit elders have passed this information on to us. <laughs> Not long ago, the Inuit elders issued a warning to NASA that there was a pole shift happening and that our skies will shift, looking at chemtrails. Although chemtrails used to be considered a conspiracy theory, in 2016, the United Nations admitted to the public that chemtrails are real. The UN acknowledged that our skies are being polluted with aluminum, barium, lead, arsenic, chromium, cadmium, selenium, and silver should give weight to the claims that chemtrails cause health problems in the general public. These include neurological effects, heart damage, eyesight issues, reproduction failures, immune system damage, gastrointestinal disorders, damaged kidneys, damaged liver, hormonal problems, and more. On the website naturalnews.com, J.D. Hayes, the author of a September 2016 article, says, for years, the federal government and others have labeled those who warned us about chemicals being sprayed on populations, chemtrails, as conspiracy theorists. But the nation's space agency has just admitted that the conspiracy theorists were 100% correct. As reported by Waking Times, a NASA scientist has admitted that his agency is placing lithium in rocket exhaust, which is then dispersed through the atmosphere. What's more, lithium release has been taking place on and off since the 1970s. Though lithium does not hurt the environment, the the compound itself was used as a psychiatric medication for decades. It works by altering levels of serotonin that are secreted by the human endocrine system. Lithium strongly alters brain patterns, but in the recording, Rowling claims that it's not dangerous at all. The reality is that even physicians who regularly prescribe the drug for psychiatric reasons don't understand how it works or what the proper dosing levels should even be. So how can spraying large amounts of the compound into the atmosphere indiscriminately ever be a good thing? NASA has the explanation. On the space agency's website, it claims that NASA pursues lithium releases in order to study wind movements in the upper atmosphere, with the purpose being to analyze data about charged or ionized gas called plasma, as well as the natural gas that it travels through. Nanobots and chemtrails. In the Washington Post in 2015, 
The writer Michael Miller stated the following, 16 years later, nanobots like the ones on X-Files are now a real thing. And although the microscopic critters are still a bit creepy, scientists say that technology could have a hugely positive impact. How exactly Barry and a team of other six scientists created the nanobots is complicated, but the basic building blocks are incredibly simple, bacteria and carbon. And because of the type of building blocks nanobots are made from, adding them to chemtrails is very simple. Chemtrails as a screen. Project Bluebeam is a government project to create holographic images in the sky in order to produce mass responses in the population. Usually it includes plans to produce the areas, scripture, or religious figures and dogma in the sky in order to shock people into accepting one world religion. It is at this point considered a conspiracy theory, but like we see with the topic of chemtrails, conspiracy theories are often extremely accurate. It is currently agreed upon by most Project Bluebeam believers that the metals in chemtrails are being used to create a metallic-based sky perfect for projecting holographic images on. Although it may have been easy to blow this off before the official announcement of chemtrails, it is much harder to do now. And when you combine this with the fact that the public is being sprayed with psychiatric medications such as lithium, it seems even closer to home. And when taking a look at the holograms they have today, just for our entertainment purposes, it seems extremely plausible that chemtrails may be serving that very purpose. Floating cities in the sky. Floating cities in the sky have been popping up all over different areas of the world over the last couple of years. Although a couple of these cities did prove to be nothing but mirages of cities being covered with fog to give them the appearance of floating, others could not be disproved. In recent instances, the same city appears to have been spotted in skies of different countries. Some people feel that this is related to the quantum shift and that we're catching the emergence of cities in other dimensions. Other people feel that the sky cities are practiced runs of Project Bluebeam, which is why the city is always the same one. And in Revelations, in the New Testament, it does read, it performs great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to earth in front of all the people. And what is stranger yet, Revelations also speaks about two suns appearing in the sky at the same time, which is interesting because that's exactly what people have been capturing in the sky the last couple of years, all over the world. Two suns in the sky. Although some images online have been doctored, there are definite images that have captured in the sky what look like two suns, sometimes even rising and setting. There are numerous photographers that have tried to describe the second sun away by light or lens tricks, but it is much harder to describe away when it comes to a light that NASA actually created and submitted a patent for, a simulated second sun, and it was done years ago. Add that to the chemtrails spraying metallic atmospheres to block the sky and mentally affect us, and holograms taking new leaps and bounds, and Project Bluebeam starts to sound pretty plausible. Black circle in the sky. Many lay people are catching images of large circular shapes just outside of the sun. No one knows what is causing this. There are theories it's a camera or light blip, it's a comet, a meteor, the simulated second sun turned off, or even possible Planet X. Planet 9. A new planet? Although Pluto seems to be forever up in debate over whether or not it's a planet, scientists are pretty sure about one thing. There probably is an unknown Planet 9. Scientists in March of 2017 have invited stargazers to help solidify the planet. The reward? You get to name it. As Josh Robertson says in The Guardian, Everyday stargazers will have a shot at naming a new planet by joining Australian astronomers in the hunt for a mysterious large orb believed to be circling the fringe of our solar system. Some believers feel that this new Planet 9 is in fact the same thing that the stories of Planet Nuburu or Planet X talk of. No moon. Lots of subscribers have noticed the moon suddenly disappearing some nights to only reappear a few hours later in the same spot. Many subscribers have been self-documenting with their iPhones and cameras. Some also have witnessed the sun doing the same thing, setting on the wrong side and appearing white as opposed to the orange color that many people experienced as a child in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Sky Sounds just to make the skies a little weirder, I want to touch on sky sounds. In the last few years, a multitude of sounds have been heard around the world, and scientists have not been able to confirm what's causing them. Sounds originating starting around 2008 have ranged between what are described as hums, mechanical noises, booms, and adequately described trumpet sounds. Although many fake audio tracks have been created and are available on the World Wide Web, not all of these recordings are fake. Some of the noises have been heard and documented through NASA. So what could possibly be causing these? Scientists have a couple of ideas. 
The pole shift is causing the core of the Earth and the thick crust to separate as the crust moves over the core, so it basically creates a scraping. If you compare this to the sky changes that the Inuit elders have referred to, this would make sense. Idea 2 claims that we are hearing what the sound is of Earth's natural resonance, or frequency, and most of the time it doesn't resonate on a level of human hearing. I don't know why we would suddenly be catching it now, but it's a theory. Bible scholars think of revelations where the end times are preceded by seven trumpets. Even the most non-religious person will be able to see ties that these old writings coincidentally have with the times of today. The following are striking images of sky anomalies from all around the world, straight from my subscribers. I would like to bring up that I noticed the moon looks different now. I have a picture that I took around Cinco de Mayo 2011 and the spots have shifted down and to the left about a quarter turn. Here's my picture from 2011. Real life tic-tac-toe with Kim Trails? Who really wins? DM. Some of my sky pics, and this is the first one at my dad's funeral. He told me before he died that he'd find a way to communicate with me, and this cloud actually looks a bit like him, hunched in his rocking chair when he was 91. R. Look to the left and zoom in, and you might see what looks like a boat or a building. This one's a seahorse. JM. Here are some sky pics from Colorado. M. Look at this video. If you slow it down, you can see orbs flashing all over the place. They are in and around the sun. They also go in and outside of the sun. Then a sort of plasmatic thing comes into the screen on your right. It slowly attaches itself and you can see it draw up energy from the sun, move up to the top hemisphere quickly, and then it splits in two just like cell division. It completely separates and becomes a distinct separate orb bubble and then shoots away while the little speedy orb follows close behind. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. G. Just as in this prior video, even NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory has caught evidence of shapes drawing energy from the sun. Big things are happening in your sky and times they are a change in. Quantum effect changes may seem small. You may have only heard of them as silly spelling changes or distant memories that have been influenced but that's the very elementary level version of the quantum effect. This whole world is changing and you should care about it because we're all on the same big old blue and green ride. Quantum effect is touching everything around us. The government and political agenda seem to care little about public health and safety and they're benefiting from things in the long run. Our American government has used us as guinea pigs in the past and they have admitted it. As former President Clinton disclosed in 2000, the government has been blindly testing its public against their will without their knowledge for the purposes of the Human Genome Project. It is a history of human behavior, and it repeats itself time and time again. So the next time you want to throw the word conspiracy into the mix, you might want to consider the vast amount of conspiracies that have been proven completely accurate. Because when you start doing research, there's a lot more than one. What's important in the end is that whether we are skeptics or believers, we have enough smarts to base our opinions on evidence from both sides. The second you think that you know something is the second that you stop learning, and things are always changing. Learn how to embrace change, and you'll learn how to embrace your life. Don't waste time on things that run you down. We have a whole world out there trying to do that to each of us every day. Open your ears, open your minds, open your options, because you do have options, and you have them every day. Choose to talk to others, respect others, and support each other. Being together, whatever our beliefs, is the only way that we can keep all of us from being totally alone.